Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com, and in today's video, you're going to learn how to get the key with minimum value in Python. So I should say a key of a, a dictionary, right? So we, we, we concern uh, ourselves with dictionaries. So say we have the following dictionary, dictionary income with uh, three key value pairs. So we associate the key Anna to the value 1111, the key Bert to the value 2222, and the um, key to the value 9999. So we have actually those three mappings from key to values. And now we don't want to get the max, the minimum key. The minimum key would be Anna, right? We don't want to get the minimum uh, value. So the minimum value would be uh, 1111. Uh, we want to get the key with minimum value. So in this case, this would be Anna, right? Because it's like by accident, it's also maybe I should use a different example. So let's make let's make it this example, right? So here in this case, so we have like Anna would be the minimum key, Kara the the value associated to Kara would be the minimum uh, value, but we want to get the key with minimum value, and the key with minimum value is actually Kara. So how do we accomplish this? So the most straightfor straightforward way to accomplish this is to print the min function the result of the min function. The min function is very powerful. You can pass a dictionary into it, but for example, but if you pass a dictionary into it and we run the code, we get Anna. Why is that? Because uh, it uh, it would be the same as if we would call key income.keys. So we get the, all the keys from the dictionary. The keys is actually an iterable of key values. So we have Anna, Bird, and Kara. And the minimum of those keys would be Anna, right? But this is actually not, we not what we want to accomplish, right? So we want to, it's like we want to go over all keys Definitely, this is the case because we, in, in the end we want to get the minimum of one of those values. But what does it mean? What does minimum mean? Actually, now we we can uh, we can redefine the notion of minimum, or actually the way to compare or associate a value to each key. Uh, and the key is now like. Um, um, yeah, we can use, simply use the key argument of the of the min function, and this actually uh, it's a bit confusing because this one is another key. This key is um, associated to the min function and not to the dictionary, right? So you can actually here in this case within our min function, every key is just a value to which we, we associate a, a, um, a numerical value and a numerical value is used as a basis for comparison in, in order to get the minimum value, right? And what do we want to use as a basis of comparison? Actually the value associated to a certain key. How do we get the value associated to a certain key in a dictionary? We simply use the income.get function. So uh, this one is actually a dictionary. So yeah, uh, in general, so if the, your general dictionary name would be D, you would call D dot get. But in our case, our dictionary name is income, so we use income dot get. So let's maybe let's comment this out and have and simply play with the numbers. So we run the code, the interactive shell, because I want to show you how. Uh, so what is for for example the output of income dot get an Anna. So this would be the first, actually, in the first iteration we would associate. So what value would we associate uh, with the key Anna if we pass it into the get function? Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, right? So the, so the first value. And now if you call income dot get bird, then it would give us two thousand two hundred twenty-two. If you call income dot get Kara, then uh, Python would return 1111, right? So this, in this case, so now you can already see what, what Python internally does in this min function that we just discussed. It actually goes over all values, or I should call, I could call them um, uh, keys in this case. So it goes over all keys and passes the keys into the key function this one in order to in order to associate a different uh, value than the one provided by the key already right so um, in this case we actually redefine the value of of a certain element in our um, iterable over which we want to find from which we want to draw the minimum right so income.keys actually now contains a list of three th or, or an iterable of three strings anna bird and kara and now for each of those strings we want to associate the value and we use this value the dictionary value by passing the income.get function into it so if we if we run the code like this we can see Kara, so the output is Kara because Kara is a key with minimum value in a Python dictionary. So if uh, Kara would be say would have this value, then we would get a new result, 
actually bird because now bird with 2222 has the minimum value so we get bird as a result right so this is this is how like the most efficient way to get the key with minimum minimum value in a python dictionary now you can there, there's one optimization you can simply remove the keys function because python will automatically internally call keys on dot keys on the on the dictionary to actually iterate over over um, all keys in the dictionary. We have seen this, so without the, without specifying the key function, if you run the code, uh, it actually gives us Anna. So you see it already gives us a string. It gives us one of the keys in the dictionary. Okay, but let's go back. So if you, if you run the code like this, it still produces the same result as above. So bird is the, in, in this case, bird is the um, key with minimum value. Okay, so uh, this is the most Pythonic way to accomplish uh, to accomplish this um, um, uh, objective, right? Now you have already learned about the mint function and about the key argument of the mint function, and um, yeah, we can like uh, we can also use it for the max function, for example. It would be similar for the max function. We would simply use call max instead of min, and now in this case we would get Anna because Anna has now the key with. Uh, maximum is a key with maximum associated value. Good, but there are some there are some alternative values uh, to get the min value. So let let's uh, maybe have ha let's quickly go over over some alternatives. Maybe not all of them uh, to accomplish the same thing. So say we have this um, this income dictionary. Now our first function would be to get the value. So I just I uh, first maybe I just I will just like um, copy it by one in one uh, pass so that we are quicker and now I can uh, I can give you the solution uh, in a moment and we would actually print f1 so we would execute f1 in order to to do this and it's now like this not nicely written code but it works right it gives us so you see it gives us the result bird because bird is the key with minimum value in our um, dictionary okay so how does it work um, so first of all we create a, a variable we then we create a variable k and both variables actually contain the um, so so the variable v contains the values and the variable k contains the keys you could also like it is just like uh, you could also you don't actually don't actually don't have to create a list. You could also call them right away here. But I mean, no still, still, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a valid way to accomplish this. And what what do we want? What do we want to do here? We actually pass. So we 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 get a key, right? So this is like we index our list of keys. And which key do we get? Get uh, do we want? We we get the key with the index of the minimum value over all values. So first we determine the minimum value of all values. So in our case, this will be 2222, right? So this is what we accomplish here. So now we have the minimum value, 2222. And now we get the index among our values of this value. And this is actually the index is one, right? Because we have zero based indexing. We start with index zero, then we have index one, index two. So our index of, so where, where does this um, value occur? It's actually uh, the index is one. And now we simply pass one we pass one into our list of keys so it, to get actually the result bird so this gives us the key with minimum value in a python dictionary this is one one way of accomplishing it um, there are many other ways right so you can for example another way would be would be to say we define a second function and we just call it so how should we call it? Let's call it D, something like D. And so we have we create a new dictionary with dictionary comprehension, for example. We associate all values to keys. So basically, we, basically we sw we swap swap the order of key values. I will explain it in a moment to you. So let me quickly finish this. So here, what 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 did we do? We actually create a new dictionary and we swap the keys and the values. So that now previously we have a key associated with a certain value. Now we actually have a value associated to the certain key. We use dictionary comprehension to accomplish this, and we iterate over all items of the uh, dictionary. So the first key value item or key value pair would be Anna nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. The second one would be Bird two thousand two hundred twenty two, and the third one would be Kara three thousand three hundred. Uh, 
33. And um, and we simply sw swap the, the order and now we have all the values in the beginning, right? Now it's actually easier because now what we ca what we can return here is the is from this dictionary we get we simply access we simply get the minimum uh, value of our, uh, the minimum key from our dictionary and the minimum key then would be so in our case now we have a mapping from 2222 to bird right so this is our, uh, our minimum dictionary now we we actually the result of this would be the minimum value of the previous dictionary 2222 and now we simply pass this into our dictionary so we access the key, uh, the value associated to this key, and this value associated to the key was the previous um, key associated to this value. And because we have swapped it, we have this inverse indexing. It actually uh, works beautifully. So if you call the function, we um, also get bird as a result, right? So this is what we wanted to accomplish. So this this method is also like it's a nice little trick that also works beautifully. So there are there are multiple more ways to 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 do it, but actually I like like our uh, I, I I like our previous approach because like I love one-liners, right? As you may may know, <laughs> so and that's why I actually like this approach much more. So if you call f1 here again, this was our first approach. I like this most because it's just the shortest way and it's very very efficient. So there's actually a test, a benchmark that shows us that this is one of the most efficient uh, ways to accomplish the problem. Good, so I think that's enough for today. This is how you can accomplish uh, the problem. There are many more ways. If you want to check out all ways and uh, to, to do this and also get some background, then check out our in-depth blog tutorial on the topic. I will also embed this video on the blog tutorial. So maybe you are watching the video on the blog tutorial, then you already know that we have lots and lots of content uh, and lots and lots of different um, ways of accomplishing this. Studying those ways, it's always, uh, a good idea to always improve your Python skills because you will learn about uh, some uh, features like list uh, comprehension, dictionary comprehension, indexing and stuff. So you will just learn the tricks and the, of the trade and yeah, studying those problems is always like a great idea in my opinion. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching this video and see you in upcoming videos. Bye.